YouTube, what's up, man? Your boy is back. I'm back. And today we find ourselves on Percy and the Beast Productions channel. And he did create another series, which is named Sword or Dark Realm. Now we're gonna be reacting to his first two episodes of Sword or Dark Realm. But before that, let's go ahead and read the description and see what this is about. When Gordon and the Big Engine heads out on the stormy afternoon express run, everything goes wrong as he is struck by lightning and his driver keys and replacement fireman Ted are transported into another world. A world where everything that was evil is good and everything that was good is evil. Alright, so that sounds pretty cool, dude. Um, So, if you're good, now you're bad. And if you're bad, now you're good. That's a pretty interesting take. So, let's go ahead and begin with this. Oh, yeah, and if you guys want me to continue the Sword of Fallout series, let me know in the comments because I forgot what episodes I was in. So, you guys need to remind me. And make sure to smash the like. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. He warned you, man. Ooh, sort of dark round. Okay, I see you. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dude, what's up with this, this your face, man? Percy and the Beast Productions presents created and written by Percy and the Beast Productions Episode 1, Sword or Dark Realm, The Nightmare Begins. Oh. Oh, okay, this is epic. Welcome to a world where everything you thought was good, nice, loving, those words have no meaning here. This world is poor evil beyond any meaning of those words. My name is Keith Wickham Gordon Striver. I came from the island of Sodor we all knew and loved. How did I get here? Well, I am still trying to figure that out myself. Okay, so this is my story. He's clueless on how he got there, eh? So we know it's by the lightning strike or whatever. It all started one day when Gordon and I were assigned to deliver a package to Mrs. Kangley's cottage. We needed to get it there quickly since she was leaving Soda to visit her relatives for a week, so we thought to save time we would deliver the package while on our daily express run. But in reverse, Terry. So I think Gordon's the main character in this series. Or I believe. It didn't help that the weather was very bad, the rain hit the ground hard, and the thunder and lightning was so loud that it caused my ears to ring. Then things got strange with the lighting patterns. Gordon had recently gotten a new fireman that day. Stephen was ill, so Sir Topham had got us a replacement. Okay. That dude has to take a breath, by the way. Wasted. He told me he was a scientist in his spare time as we watched the weather get worse as we raced down the main line. Oh, it's gonna be a stormy night. <laughs> that boy's zooming, yo. Nothing's stopping him. Got the lightning, of course. In an instant, we were bombarded with lightning strikes. It affected all of Gordon's systems. I felt dizzy. Then it passed out. Oh. oh, and the lightning struck Gordon. And there they go. They got teleported. Probably into Fortnite. So you might see a Thomas skin on Fortnite now. Oh. I woke up with a terrible headache and I was surprised to find that I was still in Gordon. And I noticed he had logos, badges, and symbols that said Royal Elite Engines. Another Royal said Southern Elite Empire. Engines. At the time, I was really confused. Gordon Southern started Empire. calling me General Keith and reminded me that we were going General to take Keith. Ted the Traitor to Gildane Prison to be executed. Dude, I feel like we're watching Star Wars now or something. I glanced back at Gordon's cab and inside I saw a frightened Ted who was tied up with rope and his mouth was duct taped shut. When I stared into his eyes, something inside of me told me that this was the Ted that I had seen moments ago. Oh. So everything's opposite, remember? Good is evil and evil is good. I mean, good is evil and evil is good, yeah. Dude, his 
face is all messed up. Rousseau arrived at Kildane Prison, and the warden came up to me and greeted me like a hero or something. He also thanked me for bringing Tid the traitor to him. The prison guards dragged him away, kicking and screaming. The warden pulled out his gun, pointed it to the middle of Ted's forehead, and shot him in the head without any remorse. Hey, he shot Ted the traitor in the I head, man. I kept playing moments Has like this one it. over and over again in my head, wishing that there was something I could have done, but if I had done something, I would be dead too. The warden looked at me and said, the guy was making too much noise. He also told me his coffee in him that has been causing us problems. He directed me over to a blocked off part of the prison. And that's where I saw it would. Hoisted up in the air and his wheels and funnel were ripped off. And he was very beat up. Yo! What's up with my boy Edward? To be continued. Well, let me tell you this. We do have episode two. Oh wait, there's something. Like a little teaser. That was just the credits. All right. Oh. Hey. All right. Hey. Major shout out to Percy and the Beast Productions for sharing his awesome creativity with us in these awesome little films he does. All right. So now we move on to a new hope. Oh my God. They even have like the Star Wars title and everything. <laughs> Okay, let's go over here and begin. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I like this little intro song. Makes it feel legit. <laughs> All right, Solar Dark Realm, A New Hope, Episode 2. Do I like it? The warden said he hoped I was pleased, then ordered the same guards to kill Edward as well. Make it look good for the general, he told them in a raspy voice. Make it look good for the One general. One of the guards hit a red button that was mounted onto the prison wall. Then a guy in spike passion came out of a trapdoor in the roof. Edward didn't have long to scream before it stabbed him oh, in the middle of his face. Oh no freaking way, brother. F in the chat for Edward. The spike retracted and there wasn't much left of Edward's face. I was screaming on the inside, but all I could do was just play along. Imagine seeing that, like, w without being able to react. There oh, I man. was, standing in the middle of the blocked off part of the prison, still in shock of what had just happened. The warden walked up to me and handed me a letter. It had orders from the Emperor to report to Knappert's stronghold immediately to ready the Royal Light Squad for an attack on the rebels. I read the words at the bottom of the letter that shook me to the core. Sincerely, Emperor Tottenham Hat. Oh man, the Royal Elite Squad. Killadine Prison. We excited the blocked off room and into the outdoors where he led me into some small Indian sheds. Mm -mm. I couldn't recognize any of the Indians there since they were all covered with tarps. The warden lifted a tarp off of one and there was Percy. Percy. He had the same signs and logos that I had seen on Gordon, and he had a scar across his right cheek and had a goatee. Why does Percy have a goatee, bro? <laughs> the warden then told me that Percy would be the one to take me to Knapford Stronghold. He also said that Gordon was unavailable due to him going on a separate mission after he dropped me off at Kildane Prison earlier. <laughs> I can't get over Percy, man. The boarded Percy and the warden saluted then said, Long, Long live, live the Emperor. Emperor. I saluted back to keep up my act and with a few spins of Percy's wheels we started down the line. Off they go. While even killed in prison, somehow he sensed a small tear trickle down my cheek. He seemed to see through me as he said, You are not the general. If you have a heart, you feel pain. 
not crying. You're he then crying. told me the truth that he is secretly a rebel spy. So I told him the tale of who I am, how he got there. We started talking about possibilities of ways out of this nightmare. I told him about the orders about the attack from the Empire. He told me the rebel base was located at Normandy. So we decided to head there to warn them about the attack. As we traveled, Percy told me the story of what had happened to Toby. What happened to Toby? Tell us, man. What did they do to Toby, man? He used to transport goods for the Empire. Most of the time, he didn't know what he was carrying. He didn't like his job one little bit. So one day, he uncoupled his train in the middle of the main line and started to head as far away as he could from the Empire. He's a rebel. Welcome to the Rebellion Army, Percy. They probably killed that. I mean, Toby. It seems like he got pretty far, if you ask me. He soon found and joined the rebels, betraying the Empire, and became a rebel spy. A week after Toby had joined the Rebellion's side, Emperor Topham had found out about Toby's betrayal and sent his best troops to hunt him down, Gordon being one of them. No way, Gordon. One of the rebels informed Toby that the Empire was hunting him down. Toby decided to leave Normandy to keep the rebels hiding out from getting found out. Edward would take care of Henry to while Toby was gone. They said goodbye and Toby departed from Normandy and headed down the main line. Alright, so he's doing it for the for the sake of the rebellion squad not getting caught up. And he decided to uh apart himself from them. While Toby was traveling down the track, suddenly he heard a whistle in the distance, and out of nowhere Gordon started to charge at Toby. Toby oh, reversed dang. backwards down the line in a desperate attempt to escape the Empire while Gordon was catching up, but while going down the line, Toby crashed into a rock oh. and derailed and gave Gordon enough time to crash into him and knock him out. Dang, so Gordon is really like... Like brainwashed. He's really like the elite soldier. Toby woke up to see that he was in an empty field with multiple logs laying against his sides. And by knew he was made of wood, and one of the soldiers threw a lighted match at Tubby. No he screamed way. for hours as his flesh slowly melted away and his body was engulfed in flames. The Empire did this as an example to show what happened if you betrayed the Empire. F in the chat for Toby. Dude, what's wrong with these people, bro? They're just killing trains left and right. He kept on talking with Percy and he told me of an old prophecy that was written a couple of hundred years ago in ancient Saga. One day years from now a hero will be transported from another place. He will be the beacon of light in the darkness. Could I be this hero they spoke of this idea frightened me and just wanted to find a way to go home. I wondered if Gordon from the Amethyst was alright. I still don't know for sure if he was brought with me to this other world or not. We arrived at Normandy, it was a pretty nice town. To be continued. Oh man, alright, that was pretty cool. I like this new uh new series on Sonar. So we can see, even if you guys are a creative person yourself, you can create your own reality in the Sonar universe. Alright, you guys, well, shout out to Percy and the Beast Productions. Uh, thank you for sharing your creativity with us once again. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the, upper epi the other episodes. I'm, I've seen you have that you put out like um i'm not sure how many but i'm i know there's more and for those that want me to continue off on sort of fallout let me know what episode i was in because i completely lost track but i will do it if you guys want me to continue it off all right you guys well thank you all for watching thank you all for the amazing support and i will see you on the next one peace perfect